So today it's the 15th of March and I normally plant out my onion seedlings on about the 10th of April. But this year I'm just trying something a little bit different. Rather than sow my onion seedlings uh, about the middle of February, I started them at the beginning of January. And if we take a look at them now, they're ready for planting out. And they're multi-sown, about three seedlings per module. They're looking pretty good. I gave them a little bit of a trim because they were slightly leggy. That's kind of what happens when you start seedlings in January. But I think they're ready to go. So I'm going to try half of my seedlings in a cold frame where they're nicely protected now. Then in a month's time, I'm going to try my second batch outside just under fleece. I'm going to compare and contrast how well those do. And then in the other bay of the cold frame, I'll show you all this in a minute, I'm going to uh, start planting my uh, onion sets. So these are Red Baron, I'm going to, I think Red Fen are the onion sets that I've got. So I'm kind of going to do four kind of different experiments. So the first one is these early onions in a cold frame, second one early onions outside a month later, third Red Fen heat treated onion sets in a cold frame, fourth heat treated onion sets a month later outside. So four different scenarios and we'll compare and contrast those when it comes to harvest time. So this bed had carrots in it, cleared it, weeded it, watered it, put down two handfuls of blood fish and bone. I quite like blood fish and bone for onions. There's not that much nitrogen in it. The nitrogen soon gets depleted that's kind of what you want. You want nitrogen early on in the life cycle of the onions when they're putting on good green growth and then you want the nitrogen to kind of finish uh, about well probably about the end of April in my case um, so that they can start to uh, focus on bulbing. These onions start bulbing at 16 hours uh, of daylight and I'm not exactly sure when that is but I'll put that up as an overlay on the video. So I just did the holes, I haven't pre-watered them, the ground's nice and moist. After water, after planting, I am going to water them with a little bit of um, seaweed emulsion, just to help them get going. So there we go, I'm really pleased with those. I did actually just mulch this ground with mushroom compost before I planted the onions, just to keep the weeds down. It provides a bit of food as well, but mainly it's a weed suppressant. Also nice, very slow release of uh, nitrogen. And this bed is where the onion sets are going, the red fen. Just got to uh, lift these carrots. And so that'll be, I think there's two weeks supply of carrots there. So that should get us to April. And uh, then the whole bed will be planted. But I think I'm going to progressively plant the onion sets in this bed. I'll just be interested to see how that affects the yield because we'll, you know, if it works well, the bigger onions will be down there, and the smaller ones will be down here. Uh, so, a bit more of an experiment. So, I planted 36 modules in there between three and four onion seedlings per module. So, roughly somewhere in the region of 100 onions per square meter. So they're lovely and cozy underneath that coal frame. Onions don't mind the cold um, but uh, they do really benefit from a bit more heat and definitely from shelter from the wind. So this coal frame is absolutely perfect for them. They should really thrive in there just like the spring onions um, obviously we've got loads and loads of spring onions in the ground at the moment. These haven't been hardened off though, so I will drop this cold frame top down at night for a few days until they harden off themselves. So I thought I'd just show you my other onions. So these are my white onions, again, all multi-sown, growing pretty nicely. 
it's the second batch of red onions, the pickling onions, spring onions, shallots, and then all the ones at the end there are the winter leeks and the summer leeks. Yeah. My early onions, they're just starting to thicken up nicely now. And there's just one bed of many beds of spring onions. I'll be interested to hear what you're doing with your onions. Uh, everybody does it differently. I've got a little ebook chapter about how I do onions. My focus is all about high intensity, maximum yields. I'm not really bothered about growing big onions. If you want to grow big onions, there's a section on that in the ebook with a link to Nigel Muddy Boots channel on YouTube and how he grows his onions. He's much more focused on big onions than me. So I hope you like this quick video. My name's Steve. This is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel and I'll see you soon.